And Sarah Canty back with us now, and the good news is about to end. It is. I know we all want to keep it going. Unfortunately, we have a much different weather story heading our way. We have the potential for severe weather tomorrow, mainly along and south of I-20. You can see the slight risk there. So on a scale of five, the slight risk is at a two. Now, the marginal threat, that just means that the we could still see hail as well as damaging winds, but it is a little less likely the farther north and west you go, the farther farther south and east you go tapping into more instability and that's where the greatest potential for hail and damaging winds will be tomorrow between about one and nine o'clock in the evening so just make sure you stay weather aware tonight our temperatures are staying mild we're still in the 60s in Tuscaloosa 60 through Birmingham as well as Alabaster upper 50s elsewhere Jasper's the cool spot at 52 we had a few scattered showers moving through earlier just a few blips on on the radar this evening, but off to our west, they have been dealing with severe weather back through Arkansas, up through uh, Indiana, as well as Illinois. So they have been just clobbered with severe weather, and this is the same system that is tracking our way. So this cold front will be moving through, likely going to weaken as it moves towards us. But then when we see the showers and thunderstorms develop once again in the afternoon with peak heating of the day, they could be strong, possibly even severe. All these blobs that you're seeing there, the white and the purples, those are hail reports. Also seeing tornado reports and severe thunderstorms back to our west. So we have to be watching this very closely. For the morning, just rain. So while that line starts to make its way through, it will be weak. But as we move into the afternoon hours, we're going to get a break from the rain. And then showers and thunderstorms will start to pop up once again with peak heating of the day. And this is when we could see severe weather, mainly along in south of the 2059 corridor. So find where you live and point south and east of Birmingham. That's where you really need to stay weather aware throughout the evening. Tomorrow we will clear out and dry out by Tuesday. But as far as what we're expecting, damaging winds and hail is what could we or what could be our greatest potential for severe weather tomorrow. Really low end threat for tornadoes. Not expecting that just hail and damaging winds could topple over trees. So make sure you stay weather aware. We clear out and cool down just a bit on Tuesday and Wednesday, warming up by the end of the weekend. 